was some basic foundation work on a colt, and that's how to establish feel in the horse's mouth, how to establish feel with our feet connected with them. I put three different places in the horse's mouth. The first place I go to is the top corner. The next place I go to is the bottom corner and in the middle. So there's three places that I use in a horse's face. If I lift on the top corner, I'm gonna lift on the bottom corner on the opposite hand. Or I might just come out to the side and we'll call that lead. But very seldom do I ever just pull a horse. So I'm going to demonstrate a concept that I call slide and guide. Slide and guide separates the head and neck from the front feet. This is an extremely important piece of material to the horse and establishing correctness in like part one from the head back to the shoulders. I'm going to run my hand down the rein, we'll call that north or slide, slide, and then I'm gonna guide my hand, in this case, out to the east. I use my knee as a reference point. I never bring my hand back behind the knee and I try to keep my hand the same height. So I'm slide and guide, slide north, come out to the east. Now I'm gonna wait for this horse to release to the pressure. So here's another concept, give to pressure. Concepts are our tools. Slide north, reach out to the east. Now I'm gonna drop my rein in this case simply because our hand is not fast enough to release that pressure. Now you'll notice that the horse's head has come back to the north again. So I'm gonna slide, guide, wait for the horse to release the pressure, and drop the rein. <clears throat> When this horse's head goes back to the north like it is right here, he's ready for another application. So let me put his feet in motion and I'm going to demonstrate slide and guide with the feet in motion. Slide north, guide to the west. Release my hand. Now when his head goes to the north again, he's ready for another application. Fly, guide, wait for the horse to release, and drop my rein. Fly, Guide, wait for the horse to release, drop my rein. Now it's okay to change directions while you're walking. Slide, guide, wait for the release. Now the head's north, slide, guide, wait for the release. Drop the rain. Slide, guide, relief. And release. Now this is really a very beneficial exercise and I use it a lot on finish show horses or my colt because it changes the attitude in a horse. If, I've ha if I have a horse with anxiety, worry, anger, frustration, uh, if they're high-headed, I use slide and guide to change the attitude into becoming willing face. Now when I use also the middle of the face, we're gonna get it to do what we call flex in the pole. So I'm just gonna put both 
hands up on the reins, put pressure in the corner of the mouth. When the horse's face releases, so do my hands. So I'm gonna wait. And this is the best way to put a stimulus to a horse is steady pressure. If the, if the person's hand is balancing, vibrating, it's not near as good as the steady pressure. So in this case, I'm just gonna hold steady pressure. Every time the horse gives, I release. See the horse's head comes up, the whole nose goes out, he pulls against the bridle reins. He's simply looking for a place to go where he feels safe. When he finds out every time that the pressure comes off when his nose comes in, it doesn't take very long before this horse realizes that's a safe place to be. Okay, so now when I'm using my hand positions, and I reach up and, and go to the top corner of the horse's face, I will always follow that with my other hand going to the bottom corner. If you don't do that, if I just lift on the top corner, it's gonna turn the nose around like this, and that's what I don't want. So it, to adjust the nostril comes from the bottom corner. So my upper, or the upper position in the horse's face dictates the response, the lower hand dictates location of the face. Okay, in this case, I'm going to reverse my hands. I'm gonna lift up on the left side of the horse's face. Now to keep him from turning his head to the left, I'm gonna use the bottom corner. Now when I use the bottom corner, my hand goes towards my foot. That will also set the a uh, horse response to get him to flex in the pole. So if I lift the top corner, there we go. Bottom, that's the response. 